व्हाट्सअप डेवलपर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हैपर आबादी दिस इज माय फर्स्ट सीरीज इन पाइथन आई कॉल इट एज पाइथन सिंप्लीफाइड एज यू कैन गेस्ट फ्रॉम माय टाइटल वी कैन लर्न पाइथन टुगेदर माय नेम इज मोहम्मद हामिद आई गॉट टू डीकेट्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई यूज पाइथन जावा जिक डॉट नेट in my day to day programming tasks uh so let's get started what does a programming language do just like we use english um french or any other native language to talk to each other we use programming language to create software like games app apps websites or to control machines like robots or smart devices or automate tasks like sorting your emails or managing files let's go to the next slide you ever wonder how does it work you write code using a programming language uh, also known as high level language the computer translates it into machine language zeros and ones are also known as binary language the computer performs the task you described all right why python is great for beginners it has a simple syntax python code reads almost like english no need to declare variables or worry about low level details it it has huge community tons of tutorials help and resources available used by companies like google nasa and netflix um, so they also you know back up the development so you are in safe hands let's understand the interpreter versus compiler any programming language broadly belong to one of this category so let's understand what an interpreter is so an interpreter executes code line by line errors are shown immediately at the line where they happen so python is an example of an interpreter based language um so when you think about an interpreter think about a sport commentator uh, relaying you know live event uh, from cricket or some other football match let's move on to compiler what is a compiler a compiler translates the entire code into one go into the binary language as it runs um, you won't see errors until the whole program is compiled um, c zig c++ and java are compiler based languages uh, think uh, you know a newspaper uh, proofreader so he is a professional he gonna analyze or proofread the article you submit to be published into the daily newspaper okay let's move on so let's understand the key differences so i have classified by feature so execution uh, interpreter executes the code line by line whereas a compiler compiles the entire code at once speed as you have guessed since it's interpreting line by line the speed going to be slower whereas a compiler can read the entire high level language or source code and then it compiles so it's going to be faster after compilation so error checking uh, error checking error when error happens at run time it is reported by the interpreter as it executes then compiler gonna spot all the errors up front before even before running the program mm, examples so the inter in interpreter based languages are python and javascript whereas c zig c++ and java uh, comes under compilers all right let's see how you can um run python on windows and install so 
we we got install on the first we got to install on the windows then we can invoke the shell also known as repel uh, what is repel uh, it reads the input as you type in and evaluate what has been typed then it prints the results then it loops so read evaluate print loop also known as repel let's go to the windows all right so i have launched the uh, browser and looking for the you know python download bundle uh, so i'm a control freak i would like to uh, control where i actual you know where I, in which location i install the software um, so since i am on arm machine uh, so i chose this bundle it it got downloaded here uh, in my download folder as you can see then i unzipped it uh, using the built-in extract all and i just placed in um, somewhere here c colon uh, softwares and python so this is where the you know bundle got extracted um, let's quickly launch the terminal so just say command c so you say if i type python it could not find it because though we have installed on the location but windows cannot able to detect it so it is going to launch the microsoft windows store um, which lets you download another version so instead of that let's help our windows to figure out the newly installed python um, go to the launch windows and just type environment variables and as you can see it has launched the system properties click on environmental variable okay i am going to modify my path um select this it's a new sql and softwares python and end with backslash click ok click ok then exit then relaunch not this time python as you can see we have installed python 3.13 and this is what i was talking about repel read evaluate print loop so let's say print hello world from windows see it has printed whatever you have typed in just type python is fun and then it is going to print whatever you typed so this is the ripple shell and to exit this you can simply say quit and this is going to uh, exit the shell all right let's see how to install python um, on linux uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, switch to my desktop and launch terminal and i have a multipass installed which i use for virtualizing then i can say multipass shell vanilla this is the instance of my ubuntu voila i have logged into the my ubuntu terminal and linux comes pre-bundled with um, you know with python so you can just type in python 3 there you go uh, but this is 3.12 that's still fine say print hello world from linux there you go print uh, python is fun okay to exit you can again type exit and it is hinting you to use you know exit uh, it is not like windows you have to use it as a function and there you go um all right 
then let me switch to my slides then let's go over how to install python on mac um, so since mac is <coughs> mac is also a linux unix like system so it's already pre-bundled with python so i can simply say this is my mac let's verify uname minus a see this is darwin mac pro and um, then i can say python pre so this is having some 3.9.6 still okay this is um, read evaluate print loop so i can say print hello world from mac print python is fun and exit there you go so we are able to install on three systems uh, depending on whichever operating system you are and launch python shell